Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Tessman from StampYourArtOut.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Andover, Minnesota in the U.S. Today is Wednesday, August 3rd, 2022 at 11 a.m. as I am coming to you, but I'm not live today. Today um, my schedule did not allow for that, so I'm so sorry about that, but you're going to love this card that I'm going to share with you today. A big welcome to you. Um, please subscribe, like, uh, share. And if, if you're new to my channel, uh, a super big welcome to you. Thank you for, th thank you for joining in. Um, today I'm going to make a standing tiered accordion fold card with products from the He's the Man suite. Let me show those to you right now. So you can see that we've got the He's the Man suite from the 2022 through 23 annual catalog on pages 78 and 79. It includes the stamp set, the coordinating dies, the designer paper, and these really cool embellishments called um, rustic metallic adhesive back dots. Now, when I, when I purchased all of these things, I thought I had gotten them all in the suite with one number. <laughs> with one order number but I guess I hadn't I you know when you when the new catalog came out I think I just ordered as many things as I could and I did not choose the whole suite at that time and I thought I had so I am going to create this card for you without using the stamps and dies which is crazy right but um, this paper is so unique and and it's going to lend itself well to lots of projects without having a lot of other things um, to add into it. So you're going to see the beauty of the paper today. This is the card that I'm going to create for you. Um, again, it's a standing tiered accordion fold card. Um, at least that's the name I gave it. <laughs> I'm sure it might have another name, but the reason why it's standing is because it stands on its own and you can see the accordion um, type folds that are already in it. Uh, yeah, so and it's tiered because it goes backwards like that um, with different step levels. So we're gonna make this card. Um, I'm gonna walk you step by step through the whole entire process. Now let me first introduce to you a more stunning version of this card. This card here was created by Rose Carey, a fellow demonstrator in my, um, my Stampers With Art group. And um, when she sent this to me, I, my jaw dropped. I, I loved it so much. So I had to make a version using this suite but check out the details of her card it's it's so pretty um so thank you a big thank you to rose carrie for for sending that and inspiring this card now the reason why i chose the he's man suite is because we are featuring that suite in our all-star tutorial video or our all-star tutorial bundle i should say um, you can get your hands on a bundle of 12 um, tutorials that include videos and how-to videos and they're exclusive to those who purchase or earn the tutorial so um, you can find more information about that in the links below um, also on my blog post which will go live by the way if you're watching this right when i sent it out to all of you if you're watching this at 11 a.m um, come back to visit at 5 p.m in about six hours you're going to be able to access all the information um, about this card in my blog post, including this video, which will be um, accessible in that blog post. Okay, so what else will be in that blog post? Let's move you over to the computer really quick. Um, so here we have the uh, PDF that you'll be able to download. It has photos of the project, it has the measurements, it has the list of supplies I used, and the name and the date in which I um, shared it with you. So you could take a screenshot if you want to, but you could also come back and download, download this actual PDF. So you can see all the fun measurements we've got here, lots of different ones. Um, the supplies are very basic. So um, this would be a great card for someone who's just trying out fun fold cards for the first time. There's not a lot involved. So now on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through this project. Some of you might be wondering why we did not use any stamps or dies, and that's because this paper is super unique. Um, we, have, we have little cutout things. So five of the six um, designer series paper pieces, and you'll get two of each, by the way, um, but five of those designs, the double-sided designs, are just basic papers um, printed on each side. Uh, nothing special about them, like foil-wise or anything, but the reason why this is called 
specialty paper is because you get two sheets of these cutout pieces. Um, they just they just punch right out of of your paper like that. So we're going to be using I think four of them. We're going to grab those right now. They all have to do with barbecuing or cooking over fire. Um, so, and then, oh, by the way, um, you get 12 by 12 of everything. Even though I, I had one sheet in here that um, is not 12 by 12, that's because I used this one for my exclusive tutorial project. You'll want to, again, check that out. Um, it's pretty, pretty awesome, all the fun things that we've created. Now, the He's the Man Specialty Designer Series paper colors are Basic Black, Cajun Craze, Crush Curry, Early Espresso, Sahara Sand, and Soft Succulent. So on that note, let's bring in some of those colors in cardstock. We've got our basic black, we've got our early espresso, we've got our Cajun craze. We've also got um, the Sahara sand in the designer paper that I picked out. Now of the measurements that were listed in that sheet, um, there's one of the designer paper pieces that's slightly larger, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, the rest of them are all sized a little bit smaller, a quarter of an inch smaller on the two sides, making it an eighth of an inch smaller all the way around. Um, then for our paper pieces, so we're going to have flat pieces that we connect together with adhesive. So we've got our basic black, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. That's going to make the base of the card. And then we've got these pieces, which are all seven inches wide. Um, we've got our early espresso Cajun craze basic black. They're all um, seven inches wide but they're they vary in height so these make up the tiers we have the two inch high the three inch high and the four inch high and then we need one basic white piece and that's going to go in the back of the card and that piece is uh, four and a quarter by three inches I'm just going to slice here at three inches and then I'm going to cut at four and a quarter here and I could get two cards from this one piece. We only need one of the whites. And then we've got these pieces for the, um, the embellishment parts of our card. The other embellishment parts of our card require the washi tape, um, very fun washi tape. This is called our glitter washi four pack um, in the green, purple, black, and that orange color. We're gonna be using these two. And then we've got from the suite, the rustic metallic adhesive back dots. Let's prepare our cardstock pieces that are seven inches. Now we're gonna put some score lines in there because these are the parts that create the accordion folds. Um, and you'll want, you'll see that you have like half inch um, sections here. So there are three of them, one, two, three, so that it, the third one can attach to the back there. So we're gonna score each of these in from each side at a half of an inch at one inch and at one and a half inches and you'll want your scores to be pretty accurate um, if they're off your your card is not going to maybe fold as well so make sure that you're going right on those lines when you do your scoring in the end this piece here in the center should measure four inches across so if we fold everything back you can see that it's a four inch wide piece and it's just going to fold back and forth like this and that's going to create the accordion so you just kind of fan fold it and this is where we add the adhesive to connect to the piece behind it i'm going to put those scores on these two other pieces And now I'm just using that bone folder to make sure that all of my fold creases are nice and crisp. All right, the next step is to take a couple of these papers, as you can see, and we're gonna add some glitter washi tape to them. So we have in our tier here, this is how they're lined up, right? And this piece is gonna get some of the black and this is gonna get some of the orange. Um, it might be difficult to find the starting spot of the washi tape when you first get it. I know I had a hard time with it, but don't give up. You'll be able to find it eventually. Um, you can always just kind of cut it 
<laughs> and then eventually, you know, you'll be able to peel it away. But just know that was a challenge. Okay, um, so I'm putting the orange one on that piece and I'm going to put the black one across here. And you'll want to do this before you layer these pieces onto your card because it'll be harder to line up and trim the washi tape after afterwards. So now we can go ahead and add these. I'm just going to use seal adhesive to add them onto the corresponding tier layers. So this one's going to go onto our brown and it's going to go up towards the top and we're centering it um, between the two innermost score lines. So it looks like like that, right? Um, this one can go on to our Cajun craze. We'll add that right now. And I'm making them about an eighth of an inch from the top and from the sides. Um, this one will go on to our small black tier. And that one should get centered all the way around. You've got like an eighth of an inch all the way around on this piece. That one's going to be in the front. These are going to be behind so it doesn't matter because you're going to cover that up. So you don't have to worry about having a full sheet of designer paper on all these layers because again they're going to be covered by the tiers. Same thing with this one. This one's going to go on the back, or I'm sorry, on the top of the basic black piece. The basic black piece is four and a quarter inches wide. These are four inches wide when folded in and that's why these papers are slightly smaller as you can see now. Now all of these worked really well with seal adhesive but because this is a 3D type of card and there's a little pull to it, you can certainly use a stronger adhesive when it comes time to add these layers on here. Um, I believe I just use regular seal adhesive though on mine and it's working out just fine. But if you want to use our seal plus or our tear and tape adhesive or even the multi-purpose liquid glue, you could totally do that. And I have brought in the multi-purpose liquid glue because we will be doing some um, more detailed gluing instead of just, you know, straight tape runner stuff. But let's now add the tiered levels and you're just going to go down the um, length of this piece here on each of the tiers. So you'll just flatten it and add that adhesive. And when you add the piece onto your layer, you're starting from the back and we're going to bring it all the way down to the bottom of the card because we want it to stand. So we don't want that eighth of an inch like you might be tempted to put on there. You want to bring it all the way down to the base. And when you've laid it down there, then you also want to make sure that your um, early espresso piece is lining up with the designer paper on the sides. Now if it's not, you can kind of shift it a little bit so it covers it up a tad. Flatten it down. And you may need to do a little bit of bone folding to make sure that it flattens and connects again. And you can test it out to see if it stands. It should be able to stand even with one tier as long as this is flush with the bottom of your basic black layer in the back. Okay, let's do the same thing with these pieces. Again, making sure that we line up that um, bottom with the base of the card. We do not want to have an eighth of an inch showing through. So this is going to get lined up completely in line with the early espresso layer behind it. So the edges will be the same on the sides and you're going to be flush with the bottom. Okay, let's make sure that we've got, oops. <laughs> well, that's going to get covered up. That's a good thing. <laughs> Don't be rough. Be real gentle when you craft. You won't have issues like that. I get excited and I go fast. <laughs> okay, same thing with this one. You're going to line it up with the bottom, line up the sides with the sides right through here. Now this is, as you can see, a very thick card. So you're going to have to pay a little extra for postage. It definitely won't go standard postage. Um, 
because I don't have a lot on this card, I may be able to use in the US like a, a non-machinable stamp. It's pretty thick, but I believe it might be underweight to be able to use a non-machinable stamp. But sometimes that's just the price you pay for fun fold cards is, you know, you might have to send them in a bubble mailer or something like that, or just hand them to the person. Okay, now it comes time to embellish. This is pretty easy. We're just gonna use these cutout pieces from that specialty paper and we're gonna add our adhesive. And I added a little bit too much. So <laughs> just get a little tissue paper in here. Yeah, sometimes that happens. This piece will go right here, connecting that edge with the top like that. And then we'll attach the holy smokes right underneath like that and you could leave you could leave the you're the best on there if you want to but i just wanted to say holy smokes you're flipping awesome um so i'm going to actually put adhesive right over this and we're going to tuck it behind like that and i want just a little bit of the um of the of the logs showing too but i also want some some of the Sahara sand up here. So don't want to cover up that completely. There we go. We're going to push it down and see how it just picks it right up and now it's attached to this layer from the behind part. Um, for the grill, the grill that we're going to attach here, you can see that we don't want to put adhesive along the whole back. I'm going to be try to be care <laughs> I'm going to try to be careful here and not squeeze out a ton. It's a fresh new bottle. It just wants to pour out Okay, so this one's going to go here, and I'm flattening it down again just because I want to put some pressure on it. I'll press that right about there. And then the flippin' awesome one, we're going to add with dimensionals. But when we put this on with dimensionals, I'm keeping in my mind that this is the thickest part of the card. This half inch section right through here and right through here. So you can see that there's the ability to add a little bit more thickness through this center part. So when I add my dimensionals to the back side of this piece, I can go ahead and add them in through this middle part. So I'm just going to stick them along here, peel off the release paper on the back, and I'm going to make sure that my dimensionals do not overlap that thick part of the card here. So right in through there. Holy smokes, you're flipping awesome. Let's add some um, embellishments with our rustic metallic adhesive back dots. They come in two sizes. So we'll add a large one up here. And I'm just using my take your pick tool to kind of push and grab. And we'll add a larger one over here. And then we're going to add a small one in this little spot here. <laughs> These are so fun. I just want to add a bunch. We'll just do one more. So we'll add one, oops, right about there. Aren't they fun? A great masculine card. Sometimes we do too many pretty, pretty and floral cards. And this one is just such an awesome suite for, you know, for that special guy or um, for anybody really this is oh you know what I want to add washi tape to this first see how I did that along the bottom there so we're just gonna grab the end of our washi tape again if we can find it did you see I used the lines of my grid paper to line up that first one I tell you, even when it's not a fresh new pack, it's hard to find the ends of these. Maybe what would help, this is what I do with regular tape, is I take and I fold it. Here, I'll do it afterwards. I'll show you what I do afterwards. Okay, so this one's going to go on top. And if you trim it, you can, you know, not waste any for the next card that you make, right? But yeah, this is what I do for my regular tape. I just fold it over, and now you can always find it because it's, it's right there. So maybe I should have done that with all my other pieces uh, or rolls of washi tape, which I probably will do off camera now. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna add this to the back and now you have a place where you can put your, 
your words that you want to say. You can sign your card and that just gets centered right to the back. Now this does fit in our regular size, um, our regular size envelopes, our medium basic white envelopes. So I stopped the camera so that I could put this into one of our basic white medium envelopes. You can see that it does fit. In fact, another great envelope that you may want to um, give your card in is one of our clear cello envelopes. Um, they're made for showing off your cards when you send them or give them. So another, another great supply. Now, I did not list the two envelopes in the PDF, um, but you'll be able to um, get a list of, or a link to those supplies in the um, description of the video and in the blog post. And the blog post again will go live at 5 p.m. on August 3rd. So if you're watching after that date, 5 p.m. Central Time, by the way, if you're watching after that date and time, you'll be able to click on the link that's in the description of the video, get to that blog post, and you'll see photos, um, lots more photos, lots of photos of the project, uh, measurements. Um, you'll be able to access this PDF that's printable. Um, you'll see a visual supply list in that blog post. The video will be there. Um, you'll also be able to access the blog hop. And the blog hop includes um, projects that were made by the other demonstrators in my all-star tutorial group. And they all feature he's the man's suite of products and whatever they've made with them. So that should be fun. A big thank you again to Miss Rose Carey for her stunning, absolutely gorgeous Halloween card that inspired uh, the ones that I, or these two here. So thank you again, Rose. Now, if you'd like to shop for any products, you can visit my website at stampyourartout.com. You can click on the shop link and it will take you to the online store. You can also look below in the description of the video or in my blog post and you'll be able to see again links to all the products used so you can shop that way. If you're a demonstrator, shop from yourself. If, you're, um, if you already have a demonstrator, shop from them. Give them some love. Uh, I also would appreciate it if any of you enjoyed this video, if you would subscribe to my channel, um, give me the thumbs up, share, that sort of thing. It helps me out. And also you get notices for when I share again in the future or when I'm live. And that way you can join me again because that is so much fun. Um, I have a blast when I'm doing my lives and I hope that you'll be able to join me next week, which will be August 10th at 11 a.m. Central Time. Um, thanks. In the meantime, have a great time crafting this week. And next week, we'll see you at 11 a.m. Central Time on August 10th. Now I'd like you all to go and stamp your art out. Bye-bye.